Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you another box of bulbs. This particular container here consists of many different bulbs from many different fixtures. So there's a little history behind each of these bulbs. I suppose we'll start off with this big one right here, this Sylvania 400 watt metal halide bulb. This particular bulb came out of a low bay fixture that looked more like a, um, a uh, shoebox light than a low bay or high bay or whatever it was. I have a video of one of them on my channel somewhere. I can't remember the exact name of the company that made the fixture, but got a lot of bulbs out of those. That was quite a long time ago. This is one of them. I had one fixture left over, but I decided to part it out, and that came out of that. Here we have some 70 watt mogul based high pressure sodium bulbs. These all came out of wall packs quite a long time ago. Here's a uh, Philips. Here's another Philips Alto. Here's a newer Sylvania. That looks really new, actually. Here's another Philips 70 watt. Of course, Alto again. Another Sylvania that looks really new. This one is 100 watt. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see it. 100 watt. Very nice. That one must have came out of a post top light, I believe, from the fixtures that I got this past summer in 2017. This is a, another Philips Alto 70 watt. Marked a lot of them on the base here. This one is a Philips Alto. This is after they got rid of the green dimple on the top. But it does say 100 watt here. It's hard to see because it's rubbing off. I should really mark the base with the wattage, so when it does rub away all the way, I'll at least know what it is. This is a simple little 70 watt metal halide bulb. It came out of a Cooper Lighting area light, which I've also taken apart. And this is a bulb that came out of it. Pretty simple thing. Here's some more interesting things. Mercury vapor bulbs. Can't go wrong here. Here is a Dirty Sylvania. Uh, I guess before I get into these, all of them, and maybe this one too. This is obviously a metal halide lamp. This one is probe start, it looks like, yep. Um, it came out of a shoebox fixture that I also got this uh, the summer of 2017. And um, yeah, this is a bulb that came out of it. Just a simple Sylvania metal arc. Set that down. Now all of these mercury vapor bulbs, except for this one, came out of a post top fixture made by, I believe, Lime Materials. I do have a couple of those. I saved some of those, um, but a lot of them I got rid of or recycled. Um, but these are the mercury vapor bulbs that came out of them. So here is, of course, the Sylvania that we were looking at to begin with. This one doesn't say made in China on it yet. We do have a nice brass base, very heavy bulb can see a nice clean arc tube in there. Dirty bulb though, really dirty. This one right here is probably the most unique out of all of these. This one is, well, let's see if I can get a, there we go. This one's made by Radiant. It's a 100 watt, or sorry, what, one, one, it's a 175 watt mercury vapor bulb and let me see, I'm trying to show it a certain way. I'm gonna have to look at it off camera here. Mm. Yes, okay. If you look closely, there's a C. So I'm guessing that this is a color corrected bulb. So it has a, a special phosphor inside here to correct the color of the mercury vapor light. And I believe it's to make it more white uh, than the greenish blue that you get from a typical mercury vapor bulb. But unfortunately, this bulb is pretty spent. It doesn't really have much life in it. If I put it on a ballast with a capacitor, it might be able to start. But the fixture that this was in was a Staber, Staber, Staber uh, floodlight. That was 175 watt mercury vapor in great condition. Got that this past summer of um, 2017. A lot of fantastic fixtures. Um, but this was in it. it. It doesn't work because the ballast didn't have a capacitor. It's just a, a regular uh, 175 
uh, what mercury vapor ballast that you'd find in a uh, area light, but obviously much higher quality. But yeah, a really cool bulb. Hopefully I'll be able to turn it on someday. Here we have a Westinghouse 250 watt R. Oh, now I have to try to remember what the R stands for. I believe it's it's a, some type of another color corrected coating. I could be totally wrong, but the R stands for something for the deluxe coating here. It has a special coating on it, and that's why there's the R there. What does that say there? Beauty light? Yeah, beauty light. Okay, lifeguard. So it must um put out a certain color. It's really cool. I mean, look at it. It's super clean on the inside with the arc tube. It does work. 250 watt. I marked it on here because this was really hard to see. But um, just a beautiful bulb in really great condition too. I'll have to turn this one on at some point. Again, came out of a post top fixture. This one here is a Sylvania. Again, really clean inside for the arc tube anyway. A little dirty on the outside. This one's also 250 watt. Yep, I marked it on the base as well. Really hard to see that etch. This one is a Sylvania 175 watt Deluxe. This one also has the R, but it's not referring to the same thing as the Westinghouse one with the beauty light or whatever that was. Just a regular Sylvania Deluxe. This one has a white art tube, so it has, you know, life still in it. Let's see, this one's another Sylvania, 175 watt. Same thing, a white art tube, pretty dirty bulb. All of these fixtures were sitting around for quite a long time before I acquired them. This one is pretty clean, it's also 250 watt. Oh, I thought I found the etch on this bulb once, but it's really hard to see. Let me see if I can find it here off camera so I can get a better look at it. I guess not. Well, I'm sure somebody can tell just by the construction of the bulb inside um, what brand it is. But yeah, it's 250 watt, came out of a 250 watt mercury vapor fixture. Pretty clean uh, arc tube again. Now this one's pretty unique. Uh, it has a, it's really really dirty. I should clean it up, but I didn't have time um, This one is a Norelco you can see it here Norelco weatherproof 175 watt mercury vapor bulb this one Appears to also have the C at the end So it must be another color corrected mercury vapor bulb you can see a spot here where the phosphor has fallen off or just never attached But pretty cool I don't have a Norelco Mercury Vapor Bulb uh, in my collection other than this one. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, it's really, really dirty. All these fixtures are sitting like this. Some didn't have tops on them, so they got really dirty over their life of sitting. Yeah, very cool Mercury Vapor Bulbs. I mean, there's a lot of them here that I'll definitely try to do videos of because um, they're just pretty unique. So anyway, I really do hope you enjoyed this video of another box of bulbs. This one had a whole bunch of random high intensity discharge bulbs in it from high pressure sodium, metal halide, and mercury vapor. So once again, I really do hope you enjoyed and also please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.